Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So in this video we're going to be hunting HF beacons. Now beacons have a wide range of applications such as aviation, marine, navigation, weather, direction finding and even propagation. Now I'm going to be using an AirSpy HF Plus Discovery along with SDR Sharp and CWGET. Now we're using SDR Sharp as our main SDR software and we're using CWGET to decode the CW. However, the beacons transmit CW at such a short speed it's actually quite easy to see the CW in the waterfall and then cross-reference it to a Morse code chart. So let's see what we can find. So we found one here. Uh, this is quite common. You'll get a center kind of tone and then either side of it you'll get the Morse code. So what have we got? Let's see if we can decode this. So this is on 433 kilohertz. So this is decoding HEN, Hotel Echo November. So this particular one, it's just transmitting over and over and over again, uh, Hotel Echo November. Now I believe that that is actually a three digit call sign. But uh, unfortunately I have no clue as to, you know, where that's coming from. I believe there is actually a mailing list that you can join where they provide a list of call signs of beacons but uh, unfortunately I'm not a member of that. Okay so here's another one on 421 so this is 421 kilohertz let's uh, let's see what this decodes so dash dot 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 dash dot dash dot so this is Bravo Uniform Radio B U R and the same as the one before you've got this kind of center tone and then either side of that center kind of carrier tone you have a uh, Morse code I mean technically this transmission could be uh, coming from you know anywhere in the world so this one's interesting this is like uh, three dots and then one massive long tone so I'm not entirely sure whether that's a beacon uh, of some kind It's definitely something, it's uh, definitely something man-made. Actually, I think it plays dot, 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 and then a continuous tone. And then it seems to repeat. So this is similar to the other one. This is uh, kind of two dashes and then a, a really long dash. I'm not too sure if that's a beacon. I mean, it's obviously man-made yet again. Now you can see some of these really faint on the waterfall there. That looks like another type of beacon, but uh, I don't think it's a Morse letter or number. Okay, so here's another one. Now we just narrow the bandwidth quite low just so that we can hear the hear the tone. Dash dot dash dot 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 dash dot dash. So we've got dash dot dash dot which is C and we've got dot 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 which is h so ch and then a dash which is a t so cht so i think that beacon is uh submitting cht in morse a dash dot dash dot 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 dash dash dot dash dot 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 dash CHT so I wonder where that one's from so there we go it's another one that's at 276 kilohertz 
Now you can see that CW gets not decoding it. So what I'm looking at here is I'm looking at the waterfall and you can see the dash dot dot etc. And then I'm just cross referencing that to an international Morse code chart. Uh, and we can, you know, we can we can figure it out. Okay, so here's another one on 334 kilohertz. Let's uh, see what this is. So dot dash dash is a W. Dash dot dash dot, that's a C. And then we've got dash dash dash, which is an O. Okay, so on 334 kilohertz, 0.570, we have another beacon, which is transmitting the call sign Whiskey Charlie Oscar. Wow. Yet again, I wonder where this one's coming from. You can see here that I was actually recording this quite late, uh, quite late at night. Um, about 8 minutes to 2 a.m. currently. And the, uh, the propagation is uh, normally kind of better in the evenings on, on the lower frequencies. Well, for me it is anyway. Okay, so we have another one here on 351 kilohertz. Let's have a look to see what it is. Dot dash dash. So we've got W O D Whiskey Oscar Delta. You can see that CW get is decoding this quite nicely. So you guys another beacon. There's actually quite a lot. There's uh, quite a lot of beacons and uh, the antenna that I'm using for this is just an N fed half wave in an inverted L kind of configuration. So it's uh, it's not really the best for uh, for this low frequency. Okay, so we've got a really really faint one here. I don't think you, we can hardly hear it, but we can just about see it on the waterfall. Dash 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 dot dot dash. So we've got O. And then we've got X. So we've got O and then X, Oscar X-ray. Now CW get isn't decoding this, but uh, as before, I can see on the waterfall, I can see the Morse code coming down. So we've got dash, dash, dash. Then we've got dash, dot, dot, dash. So Oscar X-ray. So this is 386 kilohertz. Let's see if we can figure out what this one is. So dash dot dot dot. So that's B dash dot dot dot. So B and then we've got dash dash dot dot. Z uh, and as you can see, uh, CW get is actually decoding this one quite nicely as well. So we're getting Bravo Zulu or Zebra. So there we go, guys. That's a brief look at uh, uh, beacon hunting on the HF band or, uh, or very low frequencies. I mean, this is uh, uh, extremely low, and I believe that they do actually go lower than this. And there's actually quite a lot more uh, available. And what I'm led to believe is that there's probably hundreds of beacons uh, that's still in use today. So what would be really interesting, guys, if you've got um, this kind of setup or if you can set this up, uh, go ahead um, and see what you can find and leave a comment down in the comment section. 
uh, with the call sign and the frequency that you found a beacon at and it'd be interesting for others in the community to see if we can also hear them as well uh, don't forget if you can put your location as well uh, don't, you don't have to be specific but uh, you know maybe just uh, uh, where you are in the world that'd be great and um, yeah i'll see if i can hear it and uh, let's see if the others can hear it as well anyway i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget, if you want to purchase one of these Air Spy HF Plus Discoveries, you can go over to moonraker.eu. I've also got to say a massive thanks to Yusuf over at Air Spy for sending me this. Uh, it's a wonderful piece of kit and uh, it's extremely sensitive and it works extremely well at doing what we're doing here. Don't forget, I'm also on Twitter. I'll leave my Twitter handle down in the description section below, so please go ahead and follow me. And also, if you haven't done so, check out my Patreon page. You're more than welcome to have a look there as well. So until the next video, guys take care and i'll see you in the next one